here's every tool that I've ever used, starting with mowers, then trimmers, then blowers, then edgers. And I'll tell you if I recommend each of them. The first mower that I ever had was my parents' old Toro 22 inch recycler, their little red one with a side discharge. It was janky, but it worked and it got me to where I'm at now. I used that mower and made money with it. And then I had bought the next mower, which was a Honda 21 inch, I think it's a Kawasaki engine. And that one was cool too. It didn't have the side discharge, but it had the double X blade. The X blade was all right, but I think you need to be able to discharge in my opinion, because I kept getting clogged up. So I sold that and then I just had a Toro again. And then I bought the Time Master 30 and that was cool, but it only lasted for, damn, there's a dead cat right there. I don't want to show it, sad, sorry. I had the Toro Time Master. It was cool. I loved it. It was lightweight. It was perfect, but mine only lasted four months with how much I work. And then some people tell me that that was a lemon and they use theirs for years and they just maintain, they maintain it very well. I don't know. That might be true, but my Time Master didn't last very long and I didn't expect it to because it's plasticky and it's residential grade, but I could be wrong. So I sold it or something. I sold it again after. And then I bought the Xmark 30 S series and that's what I have now. And I like that mower a lot. People ask me about the S series versus the X series, which is the more expensive newer version. It's the same mower pretty much. I don't believe it's any stronger from what I hear. I think it's a little bit heavier. It has a parking brake and maybe a better transmission, but I believe the engine is the same strength and a little bit more expensive. And some people buy it and say it's bulky. I thought my mower was bulky, the X Mark 30. The first time I used it, I had blisters and I hated it. I wanted to return it, but after a couple days, I got used to it. And I'm 5'8", 150, so if it's not heavy for me, I hope it's not for you because you're a man. You could do it. Just go go to the gym pork chop or something or don't go to the gym. Just work more and actually, yeah, just make your work make you strong. So just keep using it and you'll get strong for it because benching is not going to help. It'll just make you look cool. So those are the mowers. I also had a great, I, I think I skipped one. After the time master, after the time master, no, it was before the time master. I had a Gravely 32 belt drive walk behind the one with the gears that you shift with your hand by the bottom or you kick it with your leg, with your knee. I didn't like it. I didn't know what I bought. I bought it really impulsively. I drove out of town to go buy it. My advice for you guys, if you don't have mowers, mower dealers in your area is you can drive out of town a little bit if you got to go 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour and a half or two just to get a better deal for a better uh, mower. If you have to, that's one thing you could do. But if not, just go you look used, look at the dealers that you have. And people ask me, should I buy the Turfmaster Toro or the X Mark 30? I would say just buy the one with the dealer support next to you that can help maintain your tools for you. And if you need repairs and stuff, don't buy the one that's far away if there's one closer to you because they're both almost the same mower. I would use Toro if there wasn't just a bunch of X Mark dealers by me. So those are the mowers and my biggest advice is it really doesn't matter what you start with because you're just going to use it and you can flip it into the next mower just like your work vehicle who cares what you get just get a vehicle if it's a car or a van just use it and then just flip it into the next vehicle don't get attached and then all also when buying tools people get sad or mad when you buy the wrong tool because you realize you don't like it i've done that so many times it's okay enjoy it and you can always sell it and make if not all your money all your money back from it and also it, it, these are just tools these are like toys right it should be fun don't sweat buying the wrong tool because that's how that's the only way you're going to learn someone will say that they love it and then you use it it's not the same for you it's totally different you don't like it that's fine i've done it so many times but again i'm still here now so those are the mowers so for the trimmers i had a fs70 for the beginning of my videos you can watch it it worked fine i thought it was straight it was cool and then i got the 111 rx and then oh, i started with the 56 rc and then that was all right for what it was worth and then i got the 70 and i was like this is even better i used that for a while the fs70 and now i have the fs111 rx and that thing is so beautiful. I love it. It's strong. The gas tank lasts almost the whole day. It's so powerful. Um, I run 0.095 string. I put it in water. I soak it. And I use Black Diamond or Red Armor, both from Echo. And those are pretty much all the trimmers I've ever had. I think I would like to have a 131R with 0.105 line for um, the yards that are taller. But it's not important right now. The Edger, I've only had the FC56RC. It's residential grade, but it's lasted me like almost six, seven years. So that's that's totally cool you can get the big the, the professional grade one the commercial grade one just a little bit longer it looks beefier and stronger but mine works too fc56 rc and then i've just had a black and decker battery hedge trimmer i think having that's crucial you can put it behind your seat you can have two batteries and i mean that's all that i've needed for these six seven years i have a pole hedger i have a hl45 steel i think those are just continued if you're going to get a hedge pole trimmer you should get the one that articulates that bends because i just have the stiff one that's just like a flat angle um that's really all it for tools mower 
I would say if I was going to do it all over again, I'd get a Toro 22, start off with it, used or new, go to Home Depot. If not, go to Offer Up, get it for 200 150 Facebook, 200 150 I swear, go look right now. Toro 22 inch recycler. I would get a FS70 or I get a FS111RX if you got a little bit more money. I would get. Oh, I didn't mention blowers. I had a BG50 as my small blower to begin with. That was fine. Then I had the BG86, which was fine. And then now I have the VR600, which is the best. And I wish I would have bought it sooner. All these tools, the ones that I have now, the X Mark 30 Commercial S Series, the FS111RX trimmer, the BR600 blower. I wish I would have bought that as soon as I could versus just thinking, nah, I'll use it later because that shit makes you money faster. And if it's just money is the bottom dollar, if that's the top line, then you should be happy to spend your money on these things and you should be wary of spending your money on these other things. Control your cash flow, don't let it control you. And that should be enough for this video. Simple should be the best. So that's the mower, trimmer, edger, blower. If y'all got, got more questions, we keep talking, I'm out.